Guys, we have a problem. It's this PC right here. We just got this PC in for a review because we bought it on Timu. And uh, if you guys are familiar with this kind of design of a PC, this is STG Abron. And we've gotten a lot of these PCs in on review. And <clears throat> most of the time when we sell it to PC bros, they kind of look like this. Just straight up trash, honestly. The, the cable management is abysmal. I mean, look at where they're routing the, all these cables. This tiny little motherboard inside of this, you know, pretty large size case. And for once I decided we should probably fix this up before we sell it over to PC bros. So I'm gonna move these bottom fans up to the top. We're gonna go ahead and and route a lot of these cables behind the motherboard to make this thing nice and clean. This is gonna be my take on a relatively newer PC builder taking on a pre-built and fixing it up for our PC selling business. Without further ado, let's just get into it. All right guys, so first and foremost, what we're gonna be doing is uh, taking off the back panel. Here is the cable management on the back here. Honestly, they did a pretty good job, I will say, but just how they did um, all these cables and where they routed them all, I just feel like they could do a much better job. So I'm gonna grab me some cable snips. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these cable ties, sorry. Uh, definitely want to get rid of this one right here. We're going to move this PCIe cable. And then for all this stuff, we're going to definitely be moving all of this. So I'm going to make sure, you know, we get that nice and out of the way. And man, I mean, I, I got to be honest though, like for, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they do all this in assembly line. They do a really good job for as far as like managing cables. So hats off to them. But uh, the way they routed them is just not a good execution, at least for like, you know, I'm sure it's fine for people that buy them, you know, they're really cheap and stuff, but we want that custom look. We want that, you know, I'm gonna make sure this looks nice as possible. So although we're probably gonna be, you know, making this scale management not look as good as this because they use these like channels, it's gonna look way better from the front where you have all these like extra cables just hanging out from. So I got, I've gotten rid of most of the cables now, except for the ones in the bottom. So we're gonna, we're gonna get to those in a second, but I'm just gonna kind of disassemble the PC here. And then when you remove those screws, that GPU just falls. Move that back. And then from here, we'll just pop this off. Eh, man, that's, that's kind of tough in there. Let me see if I can. There you go. I have to finesse it and then just yoink her out. Boom, RX 580 2048 SP. And yeah, here's a way better visual, you know, representation of what I mean, guys. All those cables down there. No need for them to be there. So we're just gonna undo this motherboard screw, this one, maybe this one as well to give us enough flexion to move that back and then through the back of the motherboard. There's really like no room at all back here to route cables. So I'm hoping that, you know, with a little bit of convincing even then, we should still be fine. Uh, before I do that though, we still have these in the way. So now it's gonna be a good time to take out our fans. Realistically, these fans on the bottom here are really not doing anything at all because I mean, they're going to the basement, but I mean, you have the GPU fan pulling in air. This is directing air downwards, not upwards. So realistically, when you have fans like this, I feel like it would make more sense to have them on an intake. But again, at the same time with that, you have, you have a power supply basement. So it's like, what really, what good are they really doing? So this is out. Pull, we're gonna yoink that cable from the hub in a second. That's gonna be a little difficult to get to. These, these two back here, you got a bunch of components on top of them, but I don't wanna strip it either. Need a different screwdriver. So yoink, pull her out. Boom. That's a whole mess of cables, but hey, this bottom here, oh, it's kind of ugly down there, but you know what? That's okay. I'll show you guys a nice zoomed out picture. Kind of ugly down here. I mean, you see these, uh, I don't know, these like bridges? I, I guess you. I guess these uh, were hidden from the fans, but hey, it's still, it's still gonna look better when you have the fans up at the top there. So I guess we'll just work on routing the things to the motherboard underneath. So it creates that nice little look. And then another thing to do, if you ever work on a PC, I think it's, to me, it's a little easier to just disconnect all the fan headers from the hub. You don't have to worry about like moving, working around them and stuff because that's, that's when it gets annoying. Let's go ahead and turn around and work on the front panel. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I'm gonna feed these back through. Boom, already looks way better. We gotta plug these back in, so. Well, boys, we made some progress here. I did under like pretty much every motherboard screw except for the one on the top left. And I was able to pull these down. Before we put the uh, fans up here on the top, I jumped the gun and I forgot that Matt needs a thumbnail picture for this video. So we're gonna have to put the fans back onto the bottom, reroute those and connect all those guys up. And then we can move them up to the top. One thing to note, if you ever, if you actually bought one of these PCs, you're gonna need different screws because these guys right here are, you know, your long fan screws and they go through the fan and then directly into these little spots right here. And the threading for, you know, this, this little hole right here and then obviously screwing into the fan from up top are completely different. So you're gonna need some thicker screws if you wanna, you know, mount these to the top down the road. But that's uh, something we have on hand. We have tons of uh, extra screws for fans and all that stuff because we built thousands of PCs at, the, at this office here. So no problem there for us, but just a heads up if you're doing this at home. Undid all the screws except for one so we can get these all back here. And then from there, we're just gonna kind of finesse our way through and try and get these all to, to work. Boom, check that out guys. Take you guys off the tripod. Way, way better. That is everything Talking behind the motherboard, if you remember before, going straight down. Like, you know, before you put the motherboard, you can just connect everything up and then do that. But, you know, now that we're gonna have an issue with uh, 
everything back here. You got all these extra cables, which we can probably just like go back to the left side here and then tie them up. But hey, we're looking way better there. At this point, I think what I'm gonna do next is probably, I'm probably not gonna move the motherboard 24 pin. That's fine right there. Same thing with the USB 3. You can probably move it down here, but it's probably making my life way harder. So I'm gonna take out this one stick of DDR3. Oh God, that was chunky. And we're gonna pull her out so I can move this uh, SATA power. Ooh, come on, buddy. I've never touched a SATA port before in my life. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out and back around and then we're gonna move it around here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go back into the same spot because I don't know if uh, that changes anything for your SATA drives or what, but just to be safe so this PC actually like works, I think I installed it right there. So yeah, way better already. Check that out guys. Looking good, looking good. All right, motherboard is buttoned up again, sick. We're gonna put the fans back on now. I'll show you guys what screws you can get too, in case you wanna do this at home, but it's pretty much just your basic fan screws. They're kind of thick, you can kind of see there. They're kind of like thick, medium length, and they're gonna screw into these holes right here. We're gonna wrap them through the back here, and hopefully, yeah, we have plenty of length to uh, connect those back to the hub, take off our dust shield here. And then one thing to note too, when you're doing these kind of fans, you wanna just start them so you can move them and then line them up. Because obviously, I like to get mine like as close as possible from side to side, so they, they look nice and uh, connected. Next is this one. So looking at this, yeah, that'll work. Okay. And for the fans, guys, they don't have to be too tight. You just wanna get them to the point where they're not gonna move. Boom, that thing's not going anywhere. All right, the fans are done. They are on mounted to exhaust. Air is gonna be moving from the front here. You got three fans in the front. There are gonna be three pulling in air. You got one even also closer to the basement, so that's gonna be uh, you know still bringing in air down there. And then you have the CPU fan. You have one exhaust, two more exhausts up here. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is, see up here, they kinda already have this like raceway going. Since I added these two fan cables, we're gonna be putting them over onto the right, zip tying up to this top right little connector here. Yeah, it's a little out there, but it should be okay. I'm gonna plug everything back into our fan hub. All right, cool beans, that's all set up. These are gonna be our front panel stuff. And realistically, I don't really have much of a spot to mess with them, so I think I'm just gonna end up doing this. I have a bunch of these extra cables we don't need and motherboard and stuff like that. So we're gonna get this, we're gonna get the big chunk here, big chungus. This one you don't have to worry about making them flat and stuff. It's gonna go right into the back here, so no worries there. Cut. Another one up top. Just kind of make sure this is out of the way. And we don't want to make, we want to make sure that these cables aren't in this area right here. You can see them from the uh, actual front of the case. So we did that by doing that, cutting that. Those are out of the way now. That should just push up against the side panel when we put it back on. These are all like front panel connectors that we don't need. And then our fan cables. We're going to leave this for last. All that's left is just shoving the rest of the crap down in the basement. You know, she's not the prettiest down there, but that's all right. We're just going to shove it all the way down there. Let's do one more cable here. Ah, out of the way. Grand reveal. Boom. Okay. Looking pretty good. We see a little SATA cable down here, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna have to deal with it. Yep, that's fine. It'll, it'll be all right. But overall, this is it. We're gonna go ahead and put this GPU back in. GPU, snap. Easy money. Move this little John back. Crank her down. Boom. We're gonna shove the PCIe cable back down. Take it away, basement. I was gonna say, you can uh, you can zip tie your little PCIe cable and make it look a little nicer, but it's close enough. So you already improve the look of your PC by like tenfold by doing this. Let's see. Ah, uh, hey, she's good. PP fans are spinning. All right, guys, everything sounds good. No error lights anywhere. That's gonna wrap up this video of uh, the STG Ron rebuild. I hope you guys enjoy fixing this uh, broken PC, which it wasn't broken in the first place, but uh, yeah. Will I be doing this for every STG Ron PC we get in? No, not at all. So whoever gets this PC at PC Bros is one lucky person because it looks way better and also might even perform better because we set it up right. So thanks for watching to the end if you all did, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.